Hey, Donald Miller. So this is for subscribers because, you know, it's hard for me to make a video during the day because I have three crews running. And if one of them calls me, it kicks me off of my, the, my video. But I think it needs to be done because I have some guy that doesn't have a clue what he's talking about on YouTube. And I just figured I'd make a video to get it straight. All right. So it's been a while since I've been in electrical school, 20 years, all right? Still graduated with 98.5 average. Still did an apprenticeship. Still did commercial, residential. Then I, I mentored under a guy with troubleshooting and then I got ICC certified. On one of my videos, I was stating how knob and tube is dangerous because in that video, and it, the, the video's name is why knob and tube is dangerous. In the video, there's a switched neutral, okay? A neutral three-way system. And a neutral three-way system is far more dangerous than like a hot, just a black wire three-way system. So why? And this is what this guy wasn't getting. A, a neutral three-way system has whatever load is on there, that's your potential shock, your potential energy. And that's always running through the system. Okay, it's always there. It's, so if it's a light bulb, a 65 watt light bulb, you're at 0.54 amps. That's the potential shock right there, okay? We don't measure ohms in the field and blah, 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 blah. We're measuring our shock based on what we're shocked by, okay? So this is 0.54 amps, it's a half an amp, okay? 65 watt light bulb's a half an amp. All right, now that half an amp is on that three-way system at all times. Okay, it's on the, tra wherever the traveler is, whatever traveler is energized, going up to the bulb, it's basically, it's trying to get back to its source, okay? So if you interrupt that, okay, and you're grounded and you interrupt that, or you interrupt white to white, you get in the middle there, okay, and you complete that circuit, you're getting hit with that 0.54 amps. That's what you're getting hit by. It's not gonna feel good, okay? on the other side, why a black wire system, and this is what the guy's not realizing, you can get hit with the feed, with one of the travelers, you can get hit all day long. You're not getting hit with 0.54 amps because it's hot to ground. Now, if you complete the circuit, then you'll be hit with 0.54, but it's one situation where in the neutral system, that's three weed, it's all over. It's anything that's energized has that 0.54 amps on it. It's not 120 with no load, it's 120 with a load at all times. And that's what makes it so dangerous, okay? A black system, a black wire system, there's no load on it until you get to that last one where you connect it in perfectly in line and the light goes on. That's the only time you're gonna get hit with 0.54 amps is when you complete the circuit. All that other time, that's energized, but if it's not completing the circuit and you get shocked, you're getting shocked to ground, okay? The neutral, it's always 0.54 amps, even to ground you're gonna get hit with that neutral because the neutral is freaking energized. Now he, so this is what he was, he, he's like, well, why can't you just swap the feed? Why can't you make, because in the bottom of the switch is the feed coming in. He's like, why can't you just swap it? The reason I can't swap it is because in a knob and tube system, the black wire, the hot wire goes up and has splices in the wall. If I swap those wires in that switch box, that feed becomes a neutral, and now those, that neutral is in the wall being spliced. So in knob and tube, the, the hot and the neutral splice at different points, okay? Because they're, in, they're single conductors, okay? That's what makes knob and tube so dangerous is that it has open splices in the wall. There's, there's tons of reasons why knob and tube is dangerous today. Okay, and I'm trying to explain that to this guy and he's not getting it. He's not getting it like entry level apprentices right out of school, they don't get it, okay? It takes time to get your book knowledge and get it applied into the, the field you wanna go into, whether it be commercial, residential, old wiring, okay? It takes time for that to happen. 
So it's like arguing and smacking my head against the wall because I, I want to explain what I mean by it because the guy's calling me like a liar and he's saying I'm, I'm fearing people into rewires. I've never gotten a rewire from a service call. All my rewires are real estate based, based on insurance companies failing to insure the home. And then I come in and I do a proper rewire, okay? It takes months to plan a rewire. If I were to try to fear someone into a rewire, okay, it would be unprofitable, okay? I, w I have 10, ten full-time guys, okay? Out of the 10, seven are apprenticing. Okay, meaning they're learning still. Even like the other three, they're mechanics that can be left. They're more like foremen. But I'm apprenticing guys. Okay, so I'm trying to teach them this. The reason why I make my YouTube channel, one, why knob and tube is dangerous. A switch neutral system is extremely dangerous. Okay, anytime you interrupt the neutral, it is far more dangerous than the hot conductor. And the reason being is the neutral has a potential of current and the hot conductor, yes, it has a potential of current when it completes a circuit, but oftentimes the hot conductor is sitting there with no load, okay? A neutral, that's why like when we do like service calls and we're doing active troubleshooting with the power on, we always disconnect the hot first. Okay, by disconnecting the hot, you don't have the load on the neutral to, to deal with. If you have that hot connected and you get hit with that neutral, it's gonna ring your bell, okay? And a lot of rookies think the neutral is safe. The neutral is far more dangerous than the hot conductor. And it's not just because you don't know when you're gonna get hit. It's because the neutral will, is gonna carry amps with it. Okay, the hot's not always carrying amps. The hot carries amps when it goes to the power source, or not the, I'm sorry, not the power source, when it goes to whatever it's energizing, okay? The neutral, on the other hand, if you interrupt the neutral and the hot is active, it's always carrying the load. That neutral will whoop your butt 10 times greater than the hot. And that's because of the way, it's hard to explain, okay? But with the neutral, you're interrupting the load. You have the potential to interrupt the load. If there's a, obviously if there's nothing plugged into a string of outlets, the neutral's not gonna hurt you, okay? You're just gonna get shocked, okay? And you won't even get shocked because nothing's plugged in, okay? But the moment you're in a real world environment, okay, and your things are plugged in, Okay, that load is sitting on the neutral, okay? So that is, that load is sitting on that neutral and that's what's, oh man, 